About eight years ago, I was told that I was going to be ch changing my job from elementary school to junior high. And I got to the junior high, was going to teach seventh and eighth graders social studies and language arts, and I needed to find some way to enrich them. And I started the year with no materials. I needed something. A, another teacher in the district came to me and said, well, do you know anything about the history fair? And, and I said, give me information. I took the information and ran. It was terrific. It was exactly what I was looking for. It had all of the analysis that the kids needed to be able to practice. Now we were changing it from reports and suddenly we were creating projects that were of value. Uh, being able to take a thesis statement and prove it far better than just making a list and repeating information that they were gathering from sources. So it was the right thing at the right time. Organization. Uh, it teaches them the value of starting a project and giving it a long-term focus. Uh, instead of doing all those short little projects we tend to do in school, this is a real long-term commitment. Uh, being able to take something they're passionate about and run with that. I love the fact that the kids get to pick the topics. I, I, I like that there are plenty of options that they can choose. We look on the Chicago Metro History Education site. We look at the National History Fair site just to get them some ideas. But then I say, but you don't have to start uh, with just this. Find something else. If you really want something, we'll make it happen. To, to be able to motivate kids like that, I, I can't do that on my own. This project gives them a real push 